is if myself and Roman Reigns were to main event WrestleMania, and I mean this very respectfully of all the WrestleManias prior because I grew up in this business and I love it, we could possibly put on with us as a main event and this incredible group of men and women who are these incredible performers, we could possibly put on the greatest and the biggest WrestleMania of all time. Let's talk about The Rock and Roman Reigns. Now, Kev and I, we've all vented the frustration that when The Rock made the head of the table remark on SmackDown, that you had all of these very intelligent, very, very smart people who knew exactly what they were doing, actually trying to convince people that WWE, because The Rock versus Roman Reigns would be the biggest WrestleMania match of all time, that they would dare tell Cody Rhodes, you know, we love Dusty, and we know you've been building this story for a year and a half, but... Dwayne, you know, he's now available and suddenly he gives a shit about WWE again and he wants to make it grow to new heights. You know, we have to get that split second orgasm and then we'll worry about the next day, the next day. Cody was never not finishing this story. And for the last couple of weeks, people have been trying to divert it. But a scenario that we talked about a couple of weeks ago was the rock versus Roman reigns, WrestleMania 41. And over the weekend we were coming up with different scenarios, how this could go down. And one scenario that I came up with, and I I'm curious, Kev, how you feel about this. I think number one, we're getting a dusty finish. I don't know if it'll be at the rumble or WrestleMania or both. What I also think is going to happen is we may get kind of a deja vu moment in Cody's match with Roman Reigns where Solo Sokoa ultimately comes out and is about to Samoan spike Cody once again. But here is where The Rock's music hits. The Rock takes care of Solo Sokoa. That leaves Cody alone with Roman Reigns. Cody beats Roman Reigns. Right. becomes undisputed WWE Universal Champion, and then Roman Reigns, out of anger, calls out the head of the true head of the table now for TKO Group Holdings, and right. the challenge is made. Year-long build, like John Cena and The Rock, 10 years ago, we get it again, Roman Reigns versus The Rock, one-year build to WrestleMania 41. I like it. I, I think, uh, notwithstanding you, I saw uh, Jason post There's a dog in my way. Uh, not my dog. <laughs> um, I saw uh, Solomaster post something similar that, when, you know, from that clip from The Rock that, you know, I don't know if he's planting seeds, but again, if there's no solid plan, what is Rock Dwayne supposed to say? Yes. So, you know, and, and, and also I believe that Rock, physically, yes, you look at him, he looks ready. But I think he, you know, the WWE sees everything. A lot of people noting how winded he looked in that 15 seconds of physicality yeah. with Jinder. And I'm sorry, eight to 10 weeks is not enough time to get ready for something like that. I believe it's, lo- he said, long term, he's a long termer. I think that he's planning for next year, WrestleMania 41. And I love DT when some of our fellow podcasts, again, not throwing anybody on the bus, but say it's gotta be 40 it's the big one every <laughs> wrestlemania is a big one yeah. has to be if it's for if it's 41 rock and roman reigns mean nothing that's the subliminal thing they're saying and that's not fucking true every wrestlemania is important it just happens to be 40 41 will be just as important 47 will be important like you said dt it'll be going on and on long after me and you are not here anymore they'll probably a wrestlemania 100 will probably be a real big deal too so you know people who say it'll be on the one day WrestleMania, who was the one who said DT will be on the moon if they can have it. Uh, someone said one time. So yeah, it's not. It has to be done now. Rock is not going to age massively in yeah. one year, is he? DT? No, I think Goldberg's retirement match is going to happen at WrestleMania 41. Goldberg is going to get his retirement match. It's not even a question. I think just that out burst and frustration I think is to keep Goldberg's name out there and I think down the line but but you're right you're absolutely right and Jason was spot on earlier with what he said also you know this is seeds planted and not only that you announce 
a month after WrestleMania, or even a week after WrestleMania 40, you announce Roman Reigns versus The Rock, WrestleMania 41, that's it. We don't, there's no swerves. There's no, that's the deal. You know, a year, you know, 10 years ago, Kevin and I were doing the show when they first announced that John Cena and The Rock was going to happen a year later. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we thought we were going to get extremely tired of the storyline because, like, how are they going to keep interest for a year? And how they did that was The Rock wasn't around all that much. John Cena kept doing what he was doing. And then when it started getting close, that's when you had the real deep, that, that real awkward interactions with Rock and John Cena in the ring. But we wondered how they going to go through the year. And they ended up doing a decent job. I think Roman Reigns, if you look at the schedule that he is having, you know, a year from now, it, you know, it's not like Roman Reigns is going to be doing a hell of a lot over the next 12 months. He might have a little bit of interaction with CM Punk if that happens. Obviously, there's going to be a rematch between him and Cody Rhodes. And you have to think, like, who else should Roman Reigns interact with? Does Solo Sokoa remain by his side? Does Solo Sokoa possibly turn babyface? One thing is for certain, if the Rock and Roman Reigns is going to be for WrestleMania 41, the idea that people were thinking that the Rock, that Roman Reigns is going to turn babyface right after he drops it to Cody, uh, Roman Reigns is still going to be the heel that he is now for the next 13, uh, well, 15 months. Well, I think, and I kind of thought this too, Despite anything else, the the overview of what Roman Reigns has accomplished, I think there could be a, especially Philly, who cheers for uh, notoriously cheers cheers for heels, uh, could be an ovation for Reigns even after he loses. Oh, yeah. He gets up. People are like, listen, man, I was I'm not the biggest fan, but man, you did something here that's epic. Yeah, the company made it happen, but you changed you changed the game with your character. You know, we'd given up on you four or five years ago, and you and Heyman turned it around. And I think every wrestling fan could say that. I know a lot of even podcasts like this. I wasn't the, you weren't the biggest Reigns fan either, DT. I know. No, not but at what, all. What, he, what, what he's done, you can't to disacknowledge it. It's almost like taking the championships away from the Yankees because you don't like them. You can't you can't do that. You have to literally the acknowledge me fits suits perfectly. I think he will get an ovation even after he gets pinned by Cody, but he's not going to turn babyface. I agree. What he'll do is he'll he'll soak in the ovation and then f you the crowd. Basically, yeah, yeah. I guarantee it'll be something like that. He'll babyface it, then get on Monday Night Raw or SmackDown and let the crowd have it. Uh, so, but I do believe that you're you're right. There, there won't be a drag or wow, we're afraid this is going to lose momentum because the Rock can go away for a little while, plant the seeds. Reigns can continue reigning Terra without the championship, but still be a dominant force. You don't always need a belt to be a top guy. Look at Roddy Piper. Look at people like that. He could be Roman Reigns will still be an attraction. DT, let's remember that. Sure. You know how, how 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 many belts did Undertaker really need to be a Terra on the roster? Exactly. So and he could still have his crew. Listen, we don't know. Jacob Fatu can get hired. We Reigns can produce. Maybe give up on the solo. Solo turns babyface, and he brings in a new heavy to watch his back. There's certainly enough new Samoans coming up. Did you see that picture the other day of all those new Samoans with yes. Alf and Sika? Yep. So listen, there's a lot of things that can a happen here. It's kind of a, yeah, it's, there's a lot of Samoans. There's a lot of exciting things that can happen here. But yeah, and they can keep the momentum because I know some people are like oh a year to wait. But as DT you mentioned, Cena and and Rock, we knew about it well in advance. Didn't hurt it. Didn't certainly didn't hurt ticket sales. And Rock's right. That kind of buildup will be huge. And here's the other thing. By the way, where is WrestleMania 41 next year? Anybody know? Uh, that's a good question. I don't recall if they even revealed where WrestleMania did they announce 41 it yet? Did they announce it yet? No. And I and- wonder, DT, I wonder if Rock will be inducted in the Hall of Fame and get kind of a two-for-one thing going on there. Oh, yeah. I think The Rock has got to get in the Hall of Fame sooner than later. I want to see Rock yeah. go in. I want to see William Regal go in, Paul Heyman go in. I mean, there's definitely a bunch of names that could go in now. But little irony, I, I posted on social media earlier today but uh, for those that may not know, this week, ironically, is the nine-year anniversary of Roman Reigns winning the 2015 Royal Rumble, uh, where The Rock held his arm up high, getting booed out of the building. The Rock had this perplexed look on his face, like, why is the crowd acting this way towards uh, Roman Reigns? And... 
we had hashtag canceled WWE Network trending at that time as well. That was crazy. So, you know, it's going to be really interesting to see, you know, how this builds. Uh, As of right now, WrestleMania 41, the location has not been announced, but Kev, you know, one thing that we've talked about, I think we even talked about in October, 2024 is going to be the year of WWE International because the thing was, in 2023, people started getting a little bit concerned revenue-wise because the Bloodline storyline was getting soft. The Judgment Day was getting old. Roman Reigns is not you know, an every week or every bi- uh, bi-monthly attraction anymore. Well, you go overseas. More, they, look at AEW. God bless them doing 80,000 plus in Wembley. You know, you go to Australia, you go to the UK, you go to Saudi Arabia, you go to Germany, you go to France, you go to all these countries where they don't normally get WWE live and in person. And, you know, you get people that'll fill the buildings and pay premium price. And, you know, WWE gets to port, report that on their revenue. And by the way, oh shit, we got back CM Punk in the process as well. So that didn't hurt. But um, I would not be surprised. I don't think it's going to happen. I would not be surprised if WrestleMania 41 is announced overseas. I, as an American, I could tell, you know, we got a lot of DTKC fans who live overseas and stuff. I'm happy for you guys to get wrestling over there. And I enjoy, I don't know, but I'm sure you do too, DT. I enjoy when they go to the UK. And I like the Saudi Arabia stuff. I like seeing the the, the Saudi Arabia kids and the, having fun and yeah, everything. Sure. I, I, I enjoy it. We get a lot of stuff here in America. I think we take it for granted. And uh, I like when they go overseas stuff. I look forward to that. I'm looking forward to the Australia, just the reaction, how the crowds yeah. can act. Because I know it's going to be a hot crowd because when you are, uh, you know, not given that on the regular, when you are kind of really, uh, you know, hankering for something or something to come your way finally, and you wait and wait for years and you're this fan. Reminds me of like how Paul Stanley from Kiss used to say, you know, it's not anybody's fault that they were born in a certain place. That's why Kiss believed to go to every town that certain bands wouldn't go to or every continent or country that didn't get rock and roll. And we would go there. It wasn't for the money, per se. It was because we knew the fan base was there. And wrestling has such a, a global fan base. WWE is a global, you know, it's a global sensation. It's a global. Everybody knows WWE around the world, whether they speak the language or they don't or they have their own culture. They know pro wrestling. They know uh, everybody from Hulk Hogan to Stone Cold Steve Austin. Show them a picture of an iconic wrestler. I am damn sure they'll know it than any of the presidents we had over the decades, DT. You know, like, especially like a young kid. So I enjoy, I'm looking forward to the Australian pay. Everyone's so focused on, is, but is it what, what, what's going to be the main event? I, I Listen, it'll be a good card regardless. You know yep. what I'm saying? I don't get all caught up with that. Who's going to be this or who's going to be that. I'm sure they'll put together a good card. WWE, let's be honest, DT. I'm sure even in your recaps, hasn't it been more of a pleasure in the last year or so to review WWE shows? Because they've been much better than they were. Yeah. As far as them touring overseas, yeah, the time difference is the only negative. Like, ah, if I want to see it live, I got to get up at a different time. It's weird time. But you know what? Well, we can deal with that. I can deal with with it, especially after Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, listen, WWE's been overseas in Saudi Arabia, and I actually enjoy the Saudi Arabia crowds, but... Puerto Rico, I'm not a fan of Bad Bunny. I don't listen to his music. I don't understand what he says 90% of the time. But when he had that match with Damian Priest and how the crowd fucking went bonkers and Zelina Vega in her match, even when Savio Vega came out, in any other town, there would have been like almost maybe no Brian cares. Christopher when he came out that time when oh, Jerry Lowe was brutal and Michael Cole. <laughs> That, that crowd energy makes it more fun at home. It was so, infectious. I yes. mean, I found myself with Bad Bunny. Dude, I want to even shout out to my brother, John Draper. Uh, my brother was saying the same thing. I don't know anything about his music. I don't even know what they're saying. We, I don't speak Spanish. But I played that clip about 10 times when he came out like Raven with oh, the shopping shit, cart. Yeah. I fucking was into it. I was. I even listened to the song. I even f- I tried to find the song of what that was to hear it. And I was like, yeah. And I'm, you know, a guy in his mid fifties, and I was into it as a wrestling fan. I wasn't one of these like bitter old wrestling fans. Oh, this is not my style. This is not my guy. I I, I got into that man. I like reactions. I love seeing the crowd yeah. enjoy themselves. And you're right, DT. When something is infectious, it's undeniable. Yeah, I I would rather get up at five o'clock in the morning. See a good show with a, um, an energetic 
lively crowd uh, than to, you know, like, get nine or 13 hours sleep, wake up, you know, have breakfast, mope around the house, check emails, you know, kind of like scratch my ass, order taken, and then turn the TV on and then get it live and the crowd sucks and the show sucks. Like, yeah, I I don't, I'm not inconvenienced if I get, if I really don't want to get up at five o'clock in the morning, well, then I watch it on a replay. They're going to do Roman Reigns and The Rock for WrestleMania 41. One thing is for certain, if it's going to happen in the United States, all you got to do is just look around at the biggest arenas available. The biggest. I tell you, if I'm WWE, fuck it. Go to Wembley next year. Seriously, do WrestleMania 41 in Wembley and announce 193,000 fans just to piss off a guy with an afro and a hell of a lot of money. (laughs) 